Yeah, I, I just thought about a video today while I was in here uh, fixing this uh, fixing this water leak. I'm trying to fix this water leak. This right here, it's a new construction house I built. Probably about, I'd say probably about uh, less than six months ago. And uh, I, this is my first new construction. And uh, I know a lot of people think that uh, new construction means no problems. That's what a lot of people think. A lot of people think that uh, just because you're doing new construction, and that means that uh, you're not gonna have no problems at all. But uh, yeah, I'm just here to, to let y'all know that that ain't the that ain't the case. Because since we done built this new construction, I mean we done had at least three different water leaks: uh, plumbing water leaks, AC water leaks. Uh, we didn't had even a toilet leaking because of the, the, the plumber. We put tile in the bathrooms and the flange, the flange on the, uh, on the, on the toilet set below the tile. And, you know, I'm not a plumber. So I, I didn't know these things. I'm learning every day, but, uh, I didn't know that the flange is supposed to sit above the tile. I thought it was supposed to sit even with the tile. So. The plumber who installed the toilets installed them wrong, so we had to uh, call some more plumbers out and get them to cut out the the the, uh, the flanges and, and replace new ones. But uh, yeah, building this new construction is it, it, it's a it's a big eye opener. That's a real big eye opener. It it it, it, it uh, I'm trying to find the words, but I'm kind of lost for words. But it kind of kind of had me feeling like uh almost self-defeated for a minute because it seemed like every every week it seemed like something else was going wrong with this house and uh just like i say i know a lot of people think just because it's a brand new house that it's it's gonna have no problems but uh yeah i'm here to let y'all know that these new construction houses they have problems too especially if you hire the wrong people or you're dealing with the wrong people uh this guy we use for the ACs, we used him probably four or five times before and uh, had no problems. This is our first time having problems with this house. And uh, we had leaks in the attic from the, I call it the drip line, the line that runs from the attic out, out to the outside of the house that like drips off the, the excess water. Uh, we had problems out of that. We had problems out of a sensor that goes inside the, the pan that holds the water. And I don't know the name of the sensor because, the, but the sensor, it, uh, once the water gets to a certain level in the pan, it cuts off the unit. So the unit won't run no more and the water won't overflow. But he installed that wrong. Uh, I mean, we done had like two or three leaks, uh, two or three major problems from the, from the AC unit. Uh, we also had problems from the, uh, we also had problems from the uh, plumbing. Just like I say, the toilets was a problem. Uh, toilets was a problem. Oh, we had a leak in the sink, and the leak in the sink, basically, it was a it was a small like drip leak, but it ran for so long, it leaked for like two months, and basically, uh, it was leaking from upstairs, and it leaked all the way downstairs, and it messed up sheetrock. We had to take out and change insulation. We had to call uh, we had to call the the, the mold guys in. And those mold people, they're expensive. They charge us like $3,500 for a week worth of work. They dried out everything and, you know, just made sure everything was dry and mold didn't come. But, uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of problems out of this new construction. A lot of problems. But, uh, you know, I don't look at it. I was feeling defeated about it and I was feeling kind of bad about it. But uh, I'm just looking at it as of now. I'm looking at it like a, like a learning, like a learning situation. I'm just looking at the situation like it, it's not all bad because, uh, I know now to do my due diligence. I know now, uh, especially how we doing things, because let me get into a little bit of how we doing things. Like, in order to make money in real estate, you got to cut a few guys out. And see, what we're doing, we're cutting out the general contract. I don't have a lot of knowledge about building houses, but I have a little bit of common sense. And, uh, I know some people who just know construction and I'm learning every day. Cause I'm, I'm brand new to, 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 uh, to renovation and new construction. Uh, I've been doing it for the last seven, eight years, but 
when I first started out, I was just an investor. And what I mean by investor is uh, I basically just put my money up and I let my money work for me. And, uh, you know, it's a difference between an investor and somebody who's actually coming in and, you know, getting dirty, getting hands on with things. And see, that's how you save money. You save money by, by getting dirty and you save money by learning. Like, uh, like uh, we did this, we built this whole house every step of the way with no general contractor. Just a little bit of knowledge we learned from, you know, watching other people do it. And, and one of the ways we learned was because my wife is a real estate agent and she deals with builders. So I used to be like a, uh, what can I call it? I, I want to call it a handyman, but I used to do a lot of work. Like, you know, I got a, I got a thousand different hustles. I used to do a lot of different work. And uh, one of the things I used to do was uh, before I got my dump trailer, Matter of fact, I got the trailer right here. Before I got my dump trailer, I used to use this trailer right here. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. I used to use this trailer right here. And I used to go around and I used to load this trailer up with junk, trash. And I used to make me like two, three hundred dollars a day by helping out the people that my wife worked for. Because uh, you know, she 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 list a lot of new constructions. And she worked with a lot of builders, so I used to go around to these work sites and I used to have big piles of trash out there. Or they might not have a dumpster. They might already use the dumpster, but they might have had two or three other people come over and a big pile of trash was stacking up outside. And I just called them. Or I'd get her to call them and say, hey, man, you want me to move this trash? I charge you $200 for moving this trash. And uh, two, $300 that I'm charging to, to move the trash, I might make me 140 I might make anywhere from $140 to $240 from just moving the trash because the dump only charged $62 to dump. And I did that for a long time. But by me doing that and by me being around these guys, by me being around these guys, I learned a lot. I used to always ask a lot of questions. So I remember uh, talking to one builder one time and he was telling me, he was like, man, anybody could build. He was like, man, you just got to have a good mind frame. You got to. Just remember the steps. I'm like, remember the steps? What you mean? And he basically just broke broke it down to me on, on how to build. He broke it down to me. He was telling me that uh, depending on what type of land you get, depending on, on, on what we what, like, the steps you're going to have to go. So like the lab, last piece of land we had, we had to get surveyors out here. On top of surveyors, we had to get, uh, I can't think of the name of these people, but uh, it's like a, some elevation people. I can't think of the proper name. But we had to get the elevation people out here to tell us because we're in the flood zone. So whenever you're in the flood zone, you got to get the ele elevation people out here. On top of elevation people, uh, had to get somebody to draw up the blue blueprint. Uh, on top of that, uh, I might be skipping the thing or two, but uh, I don't think I am. But then you got to get your your, your uh, you got to get your uh, slab people in. You got to get your people to come in here and pull your slab. Foundation people. Uh, once you get your foundation people in here. Then you got your, well, you got foundation and framers, they work together. So always remember, not foundation and framers. Foundation and plumbers, they work together. Because plumbers, the plumbing is going underneath the foundation. So your plumbers and your foundation people are always going to work together. So that's like the first two steps. Then whether you got a, it depends. If, if, if a lot was pre, if a house was previously on this lot, you already have water. If a lot wasn't previously on this lot, you don't have water. So, that might be an extra fifteen thousand dollars. I know in Savannah it's like an extra fifteen thousand dollars to get water tied to your house and get your water meter installed. So if you could find a lot that a house previously been on, it'd be a it'd be a win win situation for you. But uh, uh, so once your once your foundation people and your plumbers once they're done, then your framers come in, frame everything up, put the sheathing up. Sheathing supports the framing. Uh, once you do that, it's kind of up to you on how you want to do things. But what I like to do, because what we did with this house that I thought was kind of backwards, we got electrical done. After the framing was done, we got the electrical done. And we got them to run the, we got the electrical done and we got them to run the, the plumbing on the inside, the, uh, the, uh, and I can't think of the name of the plumbing right now because I'm kind of under a little bit of pressure. But we got the, we got the plumbing. I'm still nervous about making these YouTube videos, y'all. But we got the uh, interior plumbing done. 
which is a, a rough end plumbing. We got the rough end plumbing on the inside and we got the electrical done. But one thing I noticed, and I pay real close attention to things. One thing I noticed when we was getting this, once we got it done, the hardy board people came in. And when the hardy board people came in, you know, they shoot nails through the hardy board. So some of the nails was really, really close to hitting some of the electrical lines and some of the, uh, some of the plumbing lines. So one thing I told myself is that on the next go round, after the framing is done, I'm going straight to hardy board because I don't want to risk one of those lines being hit with a nail and I might miss it and it could cause a fire or cause a leak. So uh, that's one thing I told myself I'm gonna do on the next go round. So after you're framing, I would get, I would get hardy board done. Then after hardy board, I would get electrical and plumbing done. Then after electrical and plumbing, you know, you gotta have inspections between all this stuff. So inspections come between all this stuff, a lot of inspections. So uh, once all your inspections done, get your insulation put in. We have another inspection for that. Oh, I forgot AC. Get your AC put in, then get your insulation put in. Uh, then after that, you know, it's just a uh, sheetrock goes up. Sheetrock, flooring, uh, cabinets, doors. Some people put doors up before sheetrock. Some people put them up after. It's up to you. We put our doors up before sheetrock. Uh, no, we put our doors up after sheetrock. Uh, it's all up to you, but uh, it's pretty easy building a house once you learned it. And just like I said, I watched it for like two years before I actually built. I watched it for two years. And uh, I learned how to build a house. And my wife handled, like I handled a lot of, like finding the guys to do the work, making sure the work was being done right. Uh, and just like I say, we cut the general contractors out because usually that's the general contractor's job. Usually he overwatches like the whole process of, of the house being built. But uh, when you're doing it yourself, I mean, you're responsible for everything. You're responsible for everything. It's nobody's telling you whether or not this framing done right. It's nobody telling you whether or not this plumbing done right. But see, I thought a little smart. I don't know a whole much about framing or plumbing, but what I did know was that the city wasn't gonna pass this work if it wasn't right. So everybody I hired, they didn't get paid until after the city you know, past the, past the plumbing or past the electrical or whatever, whatever, whatever. So uh, that's how I did things. And, uh, but I wasn't really worrying about the electrical because the electrical, he's a family friend. Electrician, he's a, he's a family friend. The roofers, they're family friends. Uh, and I wish I could show you guys this, but I can't turn my camera around. But that's the front of the house. But yeah, almost everybody was family. Well, I ain't gonna say all everybody, but the roofer and the electrician was family friend, and the painter. He is he's actual family. Everybody else, we just subbed out. We just found and just had luck with a subbed out. And uh, yeah, that, that that's how we built this house. But just like I say, uh, I'm brand new to this man, and I'm learning like uh. I'm, I'm basically just learning the game. I'm learning how to save money. I'm learning, uh, I'm just learning the game just like I say, man. It's kind of hot out here. And I would talk for a little longer, but I'm just here to give y'all a little bit of game as I think about it. But just like I say, uh, how to save money on these houses, man, you gotta get dirty. Look at me, I'm dirty right now. I just cut out a wall. I just cut out a wall. And I just dropped some shorts on that. I just cut out a wall climb through it to find a water leak yeah that's what i did just now so uh man you, you gotta be you gotta get down and dirty and a plumber or whoever we would have called out probably would have charged us two or three hundred dollars to cut out that wall and find that leak uh yeah so yeah you gotta get down and dirty man and just like i say like when we was doing the renovations i didn't know much about renovation but uh i had a little bit of knowledge about like doing construction work because just like i say man for me being 12 13 years old always was a hustler so i remember like when i was 12 and 13 i used to walk around the neighborhood and, and help out construction crews i might stop and say hey you guys need any help and by me being so young and eager to work they'd be like hey man come pick up this trash over here or come sand down these walls or come do this or come do that so even when i was younger like i done hung sheetrock when i was younger 
I didn't sand down uh, mud when I was younger. I didn't help out uh, guys with tile when I was younger. I didn't install window. I didn't do all type of handyman stuff, but I never actually learned the trade like all the way. But uh, how I always do things, I go on YouTube and I find me a video. And just like I said, man, I got common sense. And I know how to turn a wrench and turn a screwdriver. So I, I, I go on YouTube, I find me a video and do whatever I'm trying to do and I just go for it. And that's usually what I do, man. That's usually what I do and that's usually how I do it. But uh, I get back with y'all later. Let me get back to working here, man. I, I was just dropping some gems on y'all and, and giving y'all some game on these uh, on these renovations and on these, on these new constructions. So uh, just like I said, man, Y'all like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get back with y'all soon.